New film is coming to Showtime and Paramount Plus starting this Friday. It's based on a true story about one of the largest bank robberies in U.S. history. Take a look. Help me rob the First National Bank of Chicago. I will make each of you very wealthy. We are talking about robbing a bank. Where we work. Joining me now is the director of Heist 88, Manaj Huda. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. How excited are you for this release? Uh, yeah, super excited. You know, we filmed this last summer, um, like over a year ago now. And um, so, you know, we've been waiting for this to come out. And I'm really, really excited that we've got it out finally. Well, the trailer looks amazing. And I love, I love the star. But let's talk more about the film without giving away too much. So, yeah, it's based on true events that happened in 1988. Um, the story centers around a character called Jeremy Horn, who's a mastermind criminal played by the amazing Courtney B. Vance. He's also the executive producer on the movie with his wife, Angela Bassett. And, um, you know, the script was written by um, a guy called uh, Dwayne Johnson Cochran, who's a fantastic writer. He was actually aware of this story from back in the day because he was a reporter in Chicago and, you know, decided um, after whatever, 30 odd years to, to revive this story um, because it was just such a, an incredible story that has sort of kind of gone under the radar. Um, and, you know, they developed it for a while and, and then they were looking for a director and it um, landed on my desk. And, you know, I just loved it from the moment I read it because I, you know, I'm very much into crime thrillers. And this particular story was set in 1988 um, in Chicago, um, had, had a sort of link to house music, which I'm a very big fan of myself. Um, so yeah, all those kind of stars aligned for me and I got the opportunity to direct it. And, um, and the movie's, you know, amazing. So uh, it turned out really good. So I'm really happy that it's finally coming out. And as you mentioned, it takes place in 1988. What was it like to rewind the clock back for this film? Because you had to change everything. Yeah, well, it's uh, it was interesting. You know, we we did some exteriors um, on the, the the skyline. You know, by the by the lake, and uh, you know, we were very conscious of like what buildings existed and what didn't, and so we had to like paint out the the, the more modern buildings. Um, and then, you know, use particular locations, exterior locations, which haven't really changed that much since the 80s to really bring that back to life using vehicles, et cetera, or, you know, parked on the streets, um, bringing that sort of 80s um, music and, and obviously um, clothing and costumes to bring these characters to life and take them back. I think, you know, in terms of our younger actors and, and the characters in the movie, um, it was definitely an, an interesting journey to, to take them back in time before smartphones and, um, you know, instant, uh, like ordering things on your iPhone, etc. cetera. Um, um, and getting them to learn how to pick up a phone and dial with your fingers. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you probably had to yeah, say, you know, this is a phone. Yeah, putting coins in the, in the slot, oh you know, in a phone booth, uh, all of that, you know, because in fact, they don't really exist anymore in, in Chicago. Um, and we had to bring them in and wheel them back in. But you can actually see where they used to be on the, on the pavement. We could, you could actually see the marks on, on the pavement, so where they used to be. So, Well, the film was, stars Emmy Award winning actor Courtney B. Vance, who is one of my favorite people. What was it like working with him? Uh, you know, the guy is just a fantastic, he's just a genius. He's a master of what he does. And so it was an absolute pleasure working with him. And I felt like he really um, was a, a leader on, on the set uh, of for the whole cast. Um, you know, he was working with Keisha Sharp and Keith David, who are obviously old friends of his. And so they gelled really well together. And, and you can see that chemistry on screen from day one as soon as they're on screen. But also, um, you know, I felt he was very much uh, a mentor to the younger actors. You know, it was kind of daunting for them because this is like, you know, for most of them, major roles. Um, you know, he's worked with uh, Bentley on 61st Street. So they had a relationship. Um, and uh, so, you know, and then, you know, Precious Way was someone that I'd worked with before. So, you know, we managed to get uh, all these people together and, 
um, you know, he was very much a father figure to them and and helped them um, get through this. And, you know, we had a lot of fun shooting this film last summer. And being in Chicago in the summer, it was definitely a bonus. Well, that's terrific. It looks so good on the trailer. And Minaj, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course. Can't wait to check it out. Heist 88 will be will start streaming on Showtime and Paramount Plus this Friday. You can watch it on Showtime this Sunday, October 1st at 9 p.m.